Hey guys, Sean Hammond with Premier Guitar. We are coming at you with another gear spotlight. Today we've got Kevin from J Rocket Audio. Kevin, how's it going? It's going well. How are you, Sean? Doing good, good. So you guys have a new overdrive called the El Hombre, is that right? Yeah, the El Hombre. It's a, it's a super cool pedal. And a lot of people think of a certain bearded guitarist when they hear that. Is that, uh, is that where we're coming from? Or is this more of a, like a tube screamer overdrive? Or you want to tell yeah, us the Yeah, those, those rumors are fully true. It's kind of based on the tones of a certain bearded guitar player uh, and also the kind of tonal versatility that he really brings to the table. Okay, so I can see we're not in the same room, so I can't see everything. I can see that the pedal's off to the side. It's got cool skull graphics and all that. So three knobber. Do you want to run through uh, the controls and what they do? Yeah, so we have the kind of common volume and gain knob that you kind of need to uh, work together with. And then you also have a cool bite control, which is a kind of uh, one, a very interesting feature that, that we believe in. So not just a tone control. Um, want to tell us a little bit more about what that was, the bite means? Is it um, primarily treble or sort of a high mids thing? Yeah, so or? it's kind of based off of the, the kind of highs, but it's designed to kind of work in conjunction with, with the gain up to kind of give that versatility of going from very kind of attitude kind of tones into those like smooth high gain lead tones. Now, when we came into the video where you, it looks like you were playing your bridge pickup, and how did you have it set, just for reference, I guess, before we hear some other sounds? Yeah, right now it's all just at 12 o'clock, and for instance, uh, that's, it's just a very good way. It was one of my personal favorite ways of just starting any, any pedal before I know it. Just start it at 12 o'clock, see what it does, and then kind of wiggle stuff around from there. Okay, speaking of wiggling, let's have you wiggle the bite knob so we get sort of an idea more precisely what that means. And then after that, maybe you can show us a few different examples of that interactivity with different pickups, combinations, and different uh, levels of gain and all that. Absolutely. So 12 o'clock, bridge pickup, full volume tone. Now the, the bite knob will add that top end kind of sizzle clarity. And if you roll it down, you can hear you almost get a little bit less gain in that, or as a player, there's like a perceived less gain that you're getting. So it's not like it's just muddying it up. It kind of, yeah, as we mentioned, it, it works in conjunction with the, with the gain knob, and it's, it's really meant to, to, to be tweaked along with that. So let's say that we're on this like lower gain tone. If we want to add a little bit. get into like a very smooth territory. If we, bump that, if we bump that up quite a bit, we can get that attitude. And as you can hear, even on like very, very overdriven chords, I mean, the gain is at two o'clock, you can still have all the kind of note clarity from each individual strings like with a very involved chord like let's say we're playing this chord it's not just kind of like a cloud of, of mud and and uh, sound you can actually hear the harmonic content in, in the chord which is very cool and very in my opinion unique for a uh, higher gain tone sweet are there any other sounds you want to show us for example, whenever I hear someone showing off a new distortion or fuzz or whatever, I'm, I love hearing all the in-between sounds and I love nuance, but I'm also curious like how crazy or dirty can it go like if all out? What's 
also cool with that tone. So that's where some of that versatility that, that we mentioned really comes from because you can get, I mean, this is pretty much everything at, at max and then you can still get a clean tone from it. Yeah, it sounds like it cleans up pretty well. Were you bringing the volume back when you did that or just easing up on attack? Uh, volume. <clears throat> but if we try to ease up on the attack, you can go... <laughs> you can still clean up quite a bit. Nice. Okay, so how much is this going to cost? So this, this is out now for $199. Why don't we have you tell people where to go online to find out more and maybe you can play us out? Yeah, sure. So you can go on the J Rocket websites or, or any of our retail stores. And uh, yeah, we're super stoked about the design about it. Uh, I think it's a very, very different look than our previous J Rocket pedals. Uh, and yeah, go check it out at a, at a local guitar store.